Ashe, Ashe, Master 11, Twin Flame. So, for you beautiful people, there was one thing, actually a few things that I actually wanted to say today. And where I wanted to start off was that if you truly love yourself, you know, love yourself, then you will invest in yourself, as in invest in your future or invest in who you are, invest in what you love to do. You know, if you cared about someone else, then you will invest in their mental health because a lot of people have mental health issues or they have problems dealing with their everyday life because you, by them being in their environment or, or surrounded by the people they know, all they have is their own thoughts and they're afraid to necessarily be alone or they're afraid to be one with their thoughts and actually be able to express themselves instead of just being confined and consumed by the energy that they feel and you know I say that because you know it's the same reason why if you were to really be on a higher frequency you can deal with those type of things and all the things that are lower than you would no longer be able to come around you you know, that's what it means when you hire your frequency, energy, and vibration, 369. It's when you hire yourself to the point where all the parasites, all the low lives, all the leeches, all the negative feelings and emotions actually are not able to come around you because your energy is like mosquito repellent. You know, it was one time where you attracted those type of people that wanted to suck the energy out of you or the blood out of you or the money out of you. Or your energy, your energy out of yourself, your vessel, your soul. But now it's a time where you are able to actually utilize your unique abilities and access that. Because, you know, a lot of people, they are, you know, they are in their own ways. They're stuck in a way, you know, they're stuck in the mud pretty much. That's why you should never give 110% of yourself to people who only give you 50% because some Make it seem like, you know, you are not enough when really you are overqualified for the position or you are overqualified to be a part of their life. And I say that mainly because as a leader and a healer, you know what I'm saying, you are always giving yourself more than everybody else. Or you can say, for example, somebody who owned a business, they're working 16 hours a day when there's 24 hours a day and really it's more than that. But your brain only works you know, when you're awake consciously, it works the same when you're asleep, but by people sleeping, do, doing different things, living different lives, they're not able to utilize their entire vessel, their energy, and their soul. So by you being a leader, a owner, or a healer, you are always giving your energy to other people to build them up, make them greater, greater, make them become something more. And pretty much I say that because it is not always how you feel about someone. It is how you feel about that person when you leave from being around that person. You know, it's like saying it's somebody that you might not feel right about. But when you get done talking to that person, they make you feel like a hundred bucks. They make you feel like you are everything. You know, there's people that you might even like. But once you go around that person, you leave them like uh, I don't know if I'm feeling this. I don't know if I'm feeling that. And that's mainly because if you are not building somebody up, if you're not adding value to someone's life, then you are subtracting their energy, their self. You know, you are subtracting that energy from who they are as a person or who they are as a vessel or as an individual. And if you are subtracting their energy, then in a way you are using their energy to benefit yourself, which is the wrong thing to do, you know. Because you're supposed to be building people up just like you would want to be built up. You're supposed to do for others, you know, do for others as you would want to do for yourself. That's the way that it's always supposed to be. That is the same way it is written. That's just like God or the Most High or Allah or Ra or Elohim or however people really want to say it, Buddha, you know. It's many representations of the Most High. It's many representations of the one they call God, because God is a giver, you know what I'm saying, not a receiver. A lot of people are givers and receivers, but nowadays people are hiring their frequency, energy, and vibration to be more of a receiver, which is of the feminine aspect, because a man is a giver, which is why we, as men, were born with penises. We are givers, givers a way of knowledge, givers a way of energy, this and that, but by that, we also have to protect ourselves, you know. And it's really vice versa, but it's all about how you are able to utilize it for yourself because not a lot of people can utilize 
the left and right side of their brain. You know what I'm saying? Because we, you have to be able to utilize the left and right side of your brain and be ambidextrous. You have to, you have to be logical, sometimes irrational, other times, you know, you have to be able to go and pick in between because you have that masculine and feminine energy inside of yourself. It's another reason why my name is Master 11 Twin Flame because that is my spiritual number. That is my spiritual name in a way. It's not my African name. It's just who I resonate with or the energy I resonate with because as a Master 11, we are the gatekeepers. You know what I'm saying? We are the portal. It's like just like how, how they say it's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And before you get to the light, you have to go through the darkness. As a Master 11, anyone who resonates with that, anyone who is that, we are considered the tunnel. So before you can get to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you have to go through 1. And it's just a lot of things that I would love to say about that.